Hi, I'm Alex Hester and this is my area. First off, the player needs to open the front door by repairing the solar panels on the roof and reconnecting power. The first solar panel is in plain view for the player to get a good idea of what they're looking for. The player can find the next solar panel by moving these boxes out of the way or jumping across them to find the next one. The last solar panel can be found around the corner at the far end of the shipping yard. There are many collectibles inside the shipping yard which the player can find. The last solar panel can be found on the roof. By moving the small box closer to the big one, the player can jump on top and grab it. By standing near the empty pedestals and pressing E, the player can repair the solar panels that were lost. Once they're repaired, the green indicator turns on showing that there is power. The player can then pick up the connector and move it into place using the gravnel. In the offices, the player must find the connectors they need in order to open the safe and get the blueprints and the special connector that's required to open the warehouse door. The player will need both connectors in order to open the safe. Once they're in place, the safe opens up and the player can grab the blueprint. This blueprint is for the TBL which the player can make inside the level. The special connector is required to get into the warehouse door, which cannot be powered by a normal straight connector. Once the warehouse door is open, the player must crouch under this crate in order to get inside. Their next objective is to get into the metal refinery. If the player tries this door, they'll find that it is jammed. They'll have to find another way inside using the gravnel to ride in through the door in the open wall. The player can place the connectors inside these plugs in order to power the lights in the warehouse and the gravnel crane. Once the crane is powered, by standing next to the button and pressing E, the player can activate the crane and ride it into the metal refinery. Inside the metal refinery, the player must collect four metal ingots and place them inside the furnace. The first metal ingot can be found on a steel beam across the wall. The next two must be reached by placing the steel beams as a ramp so they can climb up. The last metal ingot can be found underneath the gravnel crane button by moving the boxes and crouching underneath. By standing next to the furnace and pressing E, the player can place the four metal ingots inside. The player will need the special connector in order to power the gravnel crane which carries the metal up to the assembly line.
The player will need to borrow the connector from the lights in order to redirect power to the forge. The player then must place the special connector in order to send the metal up to the assembly line. Once that's done, the player must cross the warehouse in order to reach the stairs and climb up them to the assembly line. Here the floor has collapsed from erosion. The player must find a way across without touching the corrosive water. A section of the staircase has collapsed. The player must use the steel beam as a bridge in order to cross it. They can jump the rest of the way. <clears throat> Once the player is in the assembly line, they must find three missing casts in order to create the parts they need to make the TBL. The first cast can be found by moving these boxes out of the way. The player will also need the connector on the ground in order to power the assembly unit. Or they could use the connector from the lights. The last two casts can be found on top of the assembly unit and underneath some steel beams on the far side of the room. By standing near the conveyor belt and pressing E, the player can place the cast on the conveyor belt. Once the assembly unit is powered, the player can stand next to the button and press E in order to craft the TVL. To leave the factory, the player must ride the gravnel crane out of the area. The player needs the special connector on top of these boxes in order to power the gravnel crane. Once the gravnel crane is powered and they press the button, the player must jump on before it leaves without them. Hello, my name is Evan Schwartz, and you're heading in to NetDAP, which is the National Experimental Testing Department for Advanced Power, to find a fuel cell. And currently, the fuel cell is in a reactor core. To eject the fuel cell, you're going to have to have a failover power source to run the systems to properly eject the fuel cell. So the first agenda or objective is to assess the working state of the generator, which is hidden back here. So as you go up and then examine the generator, you'll find out that the generator is fine, must be circuit breakers, uh, fuse burnout, something like that. So now you have to get into NetDAP, find a fuse, and assess the state of the circuit breakers. So you're moving debris, and you enter into the front room, and you run into a unavoidable trap mechanic, but that also is teaching you how to manipulate the clouds uh, by using both terrain and your Tesla ball lightning device. Set off the trap, pull them there, and then draw them over to your TBL cloud. You're going to be faced with a number of acid traps and these lightning ball traps because there are other scrappers who have been here seeking this fuel cell before you. No one more successful than you, of course. And you can pick up med kits along the way to heal any damage you may sustain as you're trying to get in there. The clouds are close, uh, corrosive, acid's corrosive. So there's a lot of ways that you can take damage in this area of our level. Once you get all the debris out of here, you now have the fuse. So the objective is to 
repair the circuit breakers and get the fuel cell, it will be needed in the next area. The TBL that we're using is being manufactured in our first area, which is uh, what you saw just a couple of minutes ago. Circuit breakers are refused, as it were, and to get the fuel cell to eject, uh, the control panels have to be configured to allow the fuel cell or the reactor to fail over to the generator. So there are three consoles that this has to be done on. Uh, consoles A, B, and C. So you'll have to configure each one of those to fail over. They're heavily trapped and there's clouds in the way. And now that you've got that, you can come in here and grab some extra batteries and med kits for healing. Batteries allow you to use the TBL uh, sooner. There's a cooldown for it. So if you have extra batteries, you can uh, activate it sooner. Once you open up the outer lab and go into the internal lab, uh, the core reactor room is closed, so you have to issue the eject command. Uh, what that does is that opens up the core room but closes off the lab completely. So you won't be able to go back out the way you came. And the second you grab the fuel cell, uh, the clouds start to chase you. So once again, you can use your... TBL to attract them and get them out of your way. Uh, you can try to run through them quickly or hop over them to minimize contact. Same thing with the acid. So this is a bit of a last little jump. You can kind of see where other scrappers have almost made it out. Uh, one blue hole in the wall to get out of here, luckily for you. So now your objective is to get to the exit area. You have to get past this uh, pit. There's a nice little ramp there you can use to get over a bridge. And you have another one up here that you have to get through to get to the exit area, where you'll now take the fuel cell into the next area. Hello, everyone. My name is James Boyer, and this is the beginning of my area. The door to the left is initially locked, so you'll need to grab the box here and bring it into the next room to the pressure plate in order to unlock the door. Once you press the, the block on the pressure plate, the door will unlock. Then you can press E at the door to actually open it. Then we can avoid the trip wires in the warehouse area here by pressing C to climb under the trip wires or space bar to jump over the wires if they're low down to the ground. The collectibles throughout my area will be research notes which will eventually inform the player that the teddy bear in the next area will contain the solution to fix the fuel cells that are creating the gas clouds. If you would happen to get hit by a trip wire, you can always uh, press T if you have a med kit to help you. <sighs> In this section, you'll crouch and jump over the beams that have fallen from the ceiling, and then avoid the trip wires again. Climb up the stairs and go into the control room. Here you can see that the fan is spinning. You have levers that you can use to control the fan. However, we don't know the combination yet, so we'll need to continue on by going up the ladder here. And here we can see the actual fan, not through the security camera. And now we can see that the combination is on the right side wall here. So now we need to return back through the ductwork to get back to the control room. In the hallway there with the fan will have some gas clouds that will chase you as you come by if you use the Gravenel. Now that we know the combination, we can use the 1, 2, 3, and 4 buttons to actually open or unlock the fan and shut it off. You can see that it stopped now through the security camera. Now we can continue back over to the fan to go through it. The gas clouds that will be in here will be also be able to be manipu manipulated by the Tesla device found in the earlier parts of the areas too. And there will be additional gas clouds in this area and outside the chain link fence here leading into the next area. Hi, my name is Alex Sellaton. In my area of our level, the player must find an abandoned arcade where a scientist hit a device that could help rid the world of the clouds. However, since the bridge is out, they must make their way along the nearby trail. Along the trail there are piles of leaves that hide collectibles, 
as well as some puzzles where the player must use pillars to get across gaps. These puzzles start off simple and slowly become more challenging as you get further along. After making your way through the cave, the final puzzle on the trail requires the player to keep putting the spare pillar in front of themselves in order to get across. They can also do this to find some hidden collectibles tucked away in some nearby alcoves. Once the player gets across, they can lower the ladder for later use if they need it. Upon reaching the arcade, the player will find that the power is off, and in order to turn it back on, they will have to disconnect a generator from the ruins of a hospital and connect it to the fuse on the side of the arcade. The player can either do something similar to the river here, and juggle themselves and the generator across to the fuse or they can line up the pillars to get across. If the player did not get the gas canister on their way here, they will need to go back to collect it. Otherwise, they can activate the generator by pressing E once it's hooked up. After activating the generator, the arcade's music will begin to play, letting the player know that they can now enter. The device is hidden inside of a teddy bear, but the player must first win enough tickets. To do so, they will grab the, the can of tokens and play some arcade games. Three of these games include throwing challenges with the Gravnel. They are set up to where the player can't cheat and will reset if the player inserts another token. Once the player has earned all four tickets, they can turn them in to receive the teddy bear. The machine will kind of glitch out and spit out a bunch so that it can respawn here and the player can come back to get a new one if they lose it. The player must now make their way back across the river with the bear, but must be careful not to get the device wet. As such, the player will either have to use three nearby pillars to do something similar to when they first cross the river, or, alternatively, if they would rather do what they learned in the arcade, they could use precision throwing to get the teddy bear across. The player must also be careful not to take the bear through the waterfall and must find a different way to get it out. Finally, after we do some additional tweaking to the level, the player will take the bear to a workbench where they will dismantle it and receive the device.
to get to the workbench, they'll have to use the pillar from before. Once they obtain the device, they will open the gate to the final area where they will use the device to eliminate the threat of the clouds. Hello, my name is Mitchell Lang and this is my area of the level. Uh, once you enter this level, the first thing you might notice is that there are laser pointers scanning the walkway through the trees. Uh, those are two turrets, the occultists that have taken the object of importance in our level has taken the time to set up automated defenses that will deter the player from trying to gain entrance into this church where they're storing it. Uh, right here you're going to go ahead and move these bricks create a little bit of a step up and hop over the wall. Um, you're trying to gain access into the church. Uh, you can't go through the front door due to the turrets and rubble. So you're going to take these bricks here and break this window down. Once inside, you'll be greeted to this large open room. You may notice that there is a sparkling pickup there. Uh, the objective here is to find the music sheet and open the basement doors. So if you were to head over to the piano at the end of the room there, it would tell you that you need to find something in order to play the correct notes. As you can see there. So you press the E key, it will play the tune and open up the basement doors. That piano is my featured asset for my area. Watch out for the collapsed staircase and jump down into the basement. Once in the basement, the occultists have electrified the water here, so be careful of that. Go ahead and make yourself a little makeshift bridge. Get across it. Once across, head to the end of the room. You'll see that the next area is blocked off by large crates. So go ahead and move these out of your way. The next room is guarded by two sweeping turrets, um, so avoid those. Head over here to the breakable wall. Go ahead and move this across to break down the bricks. Once inside, you can hear the generator running. You want to switch that off for the electrical traps in the basement. You can then go ahead and skirt the wall to avoid the turrets at this point. Go ahead and go around and head down this hallway here. You're trying to locate the room where they're holding the device and you found it. Now if you had not turned the generator off those would have killed you. Those are electrical wires guarding the entrance. So you're going to take this plank here Watch out for the turret in the corner of the room that's guarding the object. You're going to go ahead and make yourself a little makeshift bridge to get across the acid pool. As you can see, the plank is just long enough. The pool is not deep, however, so you will be able to use it. And I just got shot there. Every time you get shot, you will take 10 damage. Now that you've collected the object, the exit to the level has opened up. You can run up this ramp here, and you're done. Thank you.